everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Last time, we explored the hive. Or we also went to the ancient basin to pick up the simple key we forgot. But um, that didn't take too long. So anyways, we explored the hive last time. And this was a really cool zone. It had a lot of bees. It had a number of grubs that we saved. And it had a really cool fight. That would, uh... We, we beat it on the first try, but it was really cool. Like, this really cool warrior-type bee war... Uh, bee guard knight thing. I think it was called Hive Knight, legitimately, so... That was in here. Um, yeah, there you are. Hi, Hive Knight. Really cool fight. Not exactly the hardest fight we've had, but still really enjoyed it. But, um, and when we beat it, we got the Hive Blood, which heals us over time, so it'd be really cool to use this. Anyways, other than that, uh, it, that took a while to clear out fully. We actually got to use our Dream Gate for it, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, we came back up to the Cast Off Shell. Or, not the Cast Off Shell, the area below it, where we met Oro? It's Oro in here, right? Anyways, there was that breakable floor off to our right, so we went down, we explored this space, and uh, we got the Quick Slash Charm, which I think it does what it says. So this charm's gonna be really cool. I actually wanna test it out. But um, I discovered something I could do between episodes. Let's just clear off the charm space real quick. Over charms. Yeah, I can apparently do this. I think it has some sort of drawback. But, um, we actually have more charm. We actually can use more charms than we have notches. Oh. Oh, that quick... That's so nice. I, I think... I don't know exactly what the drawback is. I think it might be, like, double damage or something. So I'm gonna be a little, uh, careful with using it. But that is still really cool that we can do that and in situations where we don't care too much about health. But I'm um, the little buddy can go away for now. And I'm just gonna keep this on. <sighs> Forgot, that's my only way out. Because I did not set up the dream uh, gate in a better spot. But today... Um, we're gonna head over to the Royal Waterways. Specifically the Junk Pit. But um, there's a couple things I'm gonna do along the way. I actually want to get to a station so I can go up and see the charms and just like spend some of our geo because we have a whole bunch. So uh, I want to see the jar charm salesperson in particular, but uh, I figured we can jump up to town and see Sly too. Uh, just, just because I have a lot of money and uh, there's no bank anymore. The bank turned out to be a huge scam, so... So, so I want to spend it before I lose it. No, I'm going the wrong path. The downward path has the jumpy things. But it's also shorter, so I guess it's... Uh, so this is still probably the better path, despite my aversion to these things. Uh, I'm almost there. There we go. That works. I only took two hits while doing that. Nice. And fastest way back to a thing up into the City of Tears. So go up a little bit. Also, at some point, I really should do some of those essence things. And there's some more cleanup we have to do. But, like, I thought I could stand on it. Well, we're, I think we're getting to the point where we don't have many choices besides cleanup and a deep nest. And... We should probably return to Deep Nest at some point soon. We, we've been putting it off for a while. So, um, depending on how long it takes us to go through the thing in Waterways, we might be returning to Deep Nest today, after we do some, like, shop stuff. But, um... Okay. Wrong room. Oops, did not mean to do that. There we go. I mean, I probably don't have to keep Sharp Shadow on all the time, but it is such a cool ability that I kind of want to. Hello, Stag friends. Let's head back to Resting Grounds? Yeah, Resting Grounds is probably the closest Stag to the Charm salesperson, and we don't have to head through uh, too much of... 
uh, infected crossroads to get there, so this is probably the best path. And I can sort of just crystal dash my way across a lot of it. We Fall down. I got very effective at properly getting out of here. We Like so. Yeah, I did this run a whole lot while trying to deliver that flower, so I know how to leave this zone. <laughs> I tried to double jump to avoid the landing animation, but didn't quite do it right. And from here, Crystal Dash away, past where we last saw Quarrel, and probably will forever no longer see him. Is there more hiding in Blue Lake that we never saw? It definitely looks like it, but I don't know how to get up there. That sounds like a heartbeat again. Um... How would I get up there? Would I have to pogo off the fly thing? Is that a... Is that a mandatory pogo to actually get up there? Oh, wait. No. Aha. Uh -huh. There, you can go from here. If you crystal dash across. Did we ever do that? I don't remember doing this. Sure, we'll see... Double check what's over here. Go away, things. Oh, no. Nope. Definitely didn't. But, uh, probably not that important. We're not really using the rancid eggs. I've used those a total of, like, two times at this point. They're helpful, but not mandatory, I think. Uh, t probably should have ended it and double jumped a little bit earlier. I probably could have made it then. But, uh, anyways, we're here. Hello, friends. Do you still have one more notch to sell? You do. Okay. Very nice. Oh, my blessing. This is a special item for those who love charms as much as I do. Once you own 40 charms, I'll gladly sell it to you. We need 14 more charms. Oh, my goodness. We'll put on the... We'll buy everything, I guess. There we go. And I guess we return to you once we have 12 more charms. How many are even left in the game? 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Huh? Huh? How do you get that? Does completing the white fragment count as the other one? Do you upgrade some charms? Does that count? I don't... No. I don't know what's going on here. Like, I, I suppose... Can I not make that? thought I could. There we go. Yeah. I've definitely done that before. This is faster. Why'd I end that? I don't know. But, uh... I'm so confused. How are you supposed to get 12 more charms for you, for them? It, the math doesn't add up there. There's only 11 spaces left. I suppose it really must be the other part of the white fragment then. Is this the right way or am I going the wrong way? Okay, I do that. go this way. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this was faster but scarier. <laughs> Is this the run? No, this is the room to, uh... False Knight. Okay. Wrong way. Ah! No, I missed. There we go. We're good. <laughs> I know logically, like, gameplay-wise, why these stag stations are safe. But realistically speaking, these should be infected like crazy. <laughs> Anyways, back up to Dirt Mouth. We'll go stop by its slice place real quick. I suppose we'll say hi to Isadora and, uh, uh, corner for where we'll he while, while we're here. Ugh, words are hard. <sighs> Hello. Bafanada. Ooh, tram pins. There we go. I don't think we necessarily need those, but might as well. Just, just to have it. Oh, yeah, I still have to put on the extra charm I got. Forgot about that. <laughs> yep, you can see them on the map now, even though you kind of already could. I don't know. Probably not that important. Hello, friend. Hey, Sly. 
not the most chill. Mask shard. Gathering the heavy blow. We'll buy all these charms because apparently we need quite a few more. Thank you. Is this the last mask shard you're going to sell us? Nice to have. I'm assuming, is there a total of 10 masks the in the game? Deal. Like we're at eight. We are halfway to our ninth one. And I'm assuming there's probably one more full one. Because 10 sounds like a nice round number. Plus it's double what we start with. One more spot. What do I put there? Um... Problem is, there's not a whole lot of one-cost ones. Ste no steady body was already on. Put that back on. Thorns. Nail Master's Glory. Um. Nah, we'll put on Grub Song, I think. <laughs> so many charms. Too many charms. Not enough notches. Um, Grub Song, I guess. That works. So, uh, that will do. Um, we're not going to finish the Grim thing right now. We could, but I don't think we're prepared. I'm not at least prepared. I'm not prepared mentally, at least. But, um, where else would I want to visit real quick? Um, I mean, the only other merchant I can think of that might sell something we would... Well, I mean, there is the, like, weird charms salesperson down in Fungal Waste we could go see real quick. But, um, that's probably not too important right now. I think I'm just gonna head back to King Station and we'll head down into Waterways then. Um, actually, Storerooms is faster to the, uh... It, storerooms is closer to the Nailsmith. Which is the faster route down into, uh... The waterways now, or sp the specific area in waterways, at least, that we need. So I just start falling. Ow, I forgot I might fall on. A th I forgot about the spikes and the enemies that I would fall on. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I, uh, then I just go right and down, basically. I, I didn't even think, I just sort of swung there. Oh, really? Shad Shade... Shade Cloak ran out at the worst time right there. <laughs> and from here... We go down. Oh! <laughs> if, if you're fast enough and you beat it down, it will actually go above you. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Didn't notice that before, because I've never done it. There we go. And then... Uh, I forgot. Yeah, there it is. I was like, I know it's somewhere it was here. Here, we'll bring us down into the junk pits. And from here, we just sort of keep falling and avoiding the stuff. Oh yeah, this is the room with the Luke thing in it, right? Like that we prob- something prob- special probably happens if we wear the fluke thing, I'm assuming. Well, I think it might. I'm not entirely sure about that fa fact. But I think it's down here. Yep. And... just to be safe. No. Downward. I just almost teleported into the hive. That would have been bad. A cocoon ch chained with a simple lock. Use simple key. Yes. Hi! Oh. Um. You okay, friend? Collected the God Tuner. Device that resonates with beings of great power. Seek the gods of Hollow Nest. Tune their power. Through their strength, ascend. Ah. Uh. This is very bright. Blasphemy! Rank blasphemy! Thou crawler! Thou cringer! Thou smallest of the small! 
But what, by what right dost thou trespass here, in this home of the gods? Shrivel away and be gone, be gone! Hi. No map. Um, when's if I fall? Uh, don't, don't fall. That looks scary. Um, hi. God home. A tune. Um, challenge, inspect. Huh? Hold on, these are bosses we've beaten. I don't recognize that third one. That fourth one looks like the symbol of the Hollow Knight. Why is that one lit, lit up? Like we've already fought it. Can I inspect this one or is it just going to challenge? Pantheon of the Master. Seek the gods of Nail and Shell. Binding, Snail, Shell, Charm, Soul, Begin, Exit. Inspect this one? Um, there's one we're missing here. Hornets on there, Grimm's on there. Uh, Hive Knights. I recognize these faces, but don't remember exactly who the fights are. Oh, don't know what that is. Can't go that way. Enter. I uh, can't see what's in there yet. What is this? I'm so good. What? Inspect. All of Gods, Guru's Mother, Vengeful F Venge Fly King, Brooding Moloch, False Knight. Oh, these are not alphabetical. These are order of fighting them, maybe? No. No, they're not. False Knight should be first time. This is the list of all the of all the fights, though. Interesting. Um. Huh. Hold on, I see the five uh, warrior dreams we fought, but they're separate. They're all together, but one separated. I'm, I'm assuming that means that there are more warrior dreams then? Interesting. Uh, oh, Gru's mother. Attuned, ascended. Uh, Vengefly King. Brooding Molech. False Knight. Hornet. Oh, I'm assuming both forms of Hornet then? Like the first time you fight Hornet and the second? Uh, there's the giant uh, grass slug thing. Uh, marm, marm Fluke. Trade. Uh, fact. Together we are chained in a strange coliseum. Oh, that's a Colosseum boss, then. Hive Knight. Ah, uh, Broken Vessel. Nosk. Oh, this place is really cool. This is a place to, like, re-challenge bosses. I wait. Weapon in hand within the Colosseum. Okay, two Colosseum bosses to face. How many... This is just a room for every boss in the game, huh? I serve my queen inside her dreams. Oh, and then I'm assuming we get rewards if we're able to beat every boss? It was like, it may be on their higher difficulties that we can face in here? Grim. This empty god stands at a pantheon's peak. I await you at the pantheon's pa peak. I hone my craft at the pantheon's peak. Together we stand a pantheon. <laughs> Uh, you're one of the warrior dreams, as are you. I lie dreaming in darkness, surrounded by predators. Okay, you're a warrior dream down there. You're, yeah, you're the last one we just fought. So all of the bosses in this game are, like, seen as gods, then? I lie dreaming in a silent sanctuary. Interesting. Uh, Watcher Knights... Uh, Dung Defender. Uh, Soul Collector, I believe was your name? I don't remember. Oh, there's a bench in here. Okay, this place is really cool. Is this one of the DLC things? 
like there are four DLCs built into this version of the game. Uh, like I think there were four free like content pieces or like add-ons or whatever that they were all added into like the version on the Xbox Game Pass. So I think this, yeah, there's one of the DLCs is called God Home, I think, or something along those lines. So I think this is actually that. Okay. So, um, I don't think we're going to be doing anything in here yet. But this place is really cool. <laughs> don't, oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh, there is another bench in here. I really, I kind of wish I had a map because this place is, this place is really cool. Okay, can't go any higher than that. And I suppose we can try facing the first Pantheon now. I have, I'm assuming this is going to be really difficult. Let's go into combat mode with the charm, shall we? Because we're going to try the first Pantheon. I'm going to regret this decision. Almost immediately, I'm sure. But we're going to try it. What to put on instead? I have a feeling our little buddy is probably not going to be that important. I want Mark of Pride. Ah. Uh... Do I go over charmed for this? Uh, this might be a mistake going over charmed, but now that I know I can do it, I want Mark of Pride and I want every other one I have, so. Bindings. What does this mean? Does that mean you can't use her nail? Seek the gods of nail and shell. Can't use charms or soul or shell. I'm assuming that's what this means. Okay, let's try the Pantheon as a master then. Probably gonna regret this. <laughs> very bright wretched thou hast ordained thine own destruction wretch did i say wretched wretch through sacred combat are we attuned to this kingdom's greatest beings by entering this gate thou hast challenged the very gods of this kingdom dost thou consider thyself the equal of this pantheon of its masters draw thy weapon then full of fools and be darned for thy arrogance. Oh, hello there. Vengefly King. I'm stronger than the last time we fought. I don't know how much stronger you are, though. Oh, this music. Oh, this music is really cool. <laughs> okay, your summons aren't that strong. Oh, I took two damage there. Not exactly the most amazing arena to fight you in. Based on how you attack. Ah. You just summoned two little buddies to help you out. Ah, oh, I got hit there. One, two. One. Oh, I didn't quite get it fully off, did I? Uh. Oh, yeah, you can definitely fall off this arena. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I got three hits in in there. Heal up once. Come on, come get me. Oh, I... That was silly. One. One. Deal with you immediately. Okay, yeah, I think you definitely have more health than you used to. Uh, one. Oh, there goes that. One. But I don't die if it hits me. Got you. Heal up once, twice. I don't get my shell back now, though. Oh, hello, Gru's mother. Oh, I jumped right into you. Oh, this is bad. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Okay. That didn't go well. Huh. 
Maybe overcharming wasn't so good, because it's definitely doing double damage now. Ah, oh, but I really want the Mark of Pride, though. Um, Grub Song and Steady Body. Um, sure, we'll try this instead. Oh, this is, this is going to be, this is a boss rush. Oh my, this, this isn't going to go well a few times in a row. Which bosses are in this specific one? I'm assuming all of them are boss rush, so I don't have any soul left. It didn't give me any soul back. I technically could chase it up into the corners, but it would be really risky. Come on, give me your little buddies. They're free soul. Oh, that was... Probably shouldn't have tasted it like that, but it didn't turn out poorly. Can you just come down, please? Oh, you're just summoning little buddies. Free soul, thank you. Why am I about to heal? I haven't taken damage. Come on. Oh, I should have swung there, but I... But I got panicked and, like, changed... I should have swung left, but, uh... Panicked and changed directions at the last second. Oh, what was that? Oh, my, uh... Controller disconnected for about a brief second. Thankfully, it didn't cost me anything. Come on. Just keep diving. You going up into those corners is a little annoying. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's... Okay, it was definitely the Overcharm that did the double damage then. I'm not sure this is actually stronger than it used to be. I tried to poke with ill, but fa failed. You're a lot more summon happy on this try than the first one. Got you. Heal up once before the Gru's mother. Oh, the music in here is so cool. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. Why did you get stuck in the corner like that? I... I didn't realize how much steady body helped me actually, like, stick close enough to actually spam hit. Okay, that worked fairly well. Full health going into the third fight. Okay, you're not summoning all the babies this time. Oh, hello, false knight. Okay, I don't really... It's been a long time since I fought... Fault, fought, fought, fought false knight, so I don't properly remember how to do it. Ah! Heal up once, twice, thrice. Ah, oh, that ran out at the wrong time. Heal up once. Ah, oh, I got stuck in the dash. I tried to, like, I got stuck in something and didn't work out well for me. Okay, I can't heal up right now. What? You were aiming the other direction. I was a little bit too slow on the dash there. And I can't heal right now because I don't have any soul. Heal up once. I got too close there. Okay. Heal up once. We take down the third boss and false knight. Okay. I'm trying not to go too panicky with these. I am getting a little panicked at times though. Oh, it's you. Massive moss charger. Okay, you're not... I forgot you jumped. Heal up once. 
Okay. No! He's too big, I can't shade, shade dash through him. Oh no. Oh, that, that felt really good. We got up to the fourth boss pretty easily there. Oh, we're gonna give this one more try. This, this whole thing feels like it needs episodes of its own. <laughs> but like, this is really cool. We're not fi fighting the super boss versions again. It's just like their basic form. But like, it's still cool to see all these bosses and like see how much stronger we are than the run when we first fought them. Oh wait, I could downward dark a lot of these now. Ah. Uh, I don't have to keep just using healing and occasionally soul blast anymore. Because I have more abilities now. I could just downward dark false knight, I think. Or the moss charger, at least. You, not so much. You and uh, Grease Mother, I don't... Flying enemies are very hard to hit with a downward attack, basically, I think, is the problem. Okay, that was accidental, but kind of cool. Come get me. Ah, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> well, heal up to full, so I'm actually gathering extra soul. Oh, that was close. Oh no, I dashed the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. Make sure we're at full. Come on, come get me. I missed. Oh, I tried to swing down but failed at it. Heal up to full, so we're actually gaining soul. I'm assuming you're only like one more hit, yeah. <laughs> Figured. Okay, full health going into Gru's mother. Do we get a checkpoint at any points? Or is this one really short and doesn't have them? Do none of them have them? Because that's very scary if that's the case. Okay. Okay, Guru's mother, you're not so scary as you used to be. Yeah, Guru's mother is no problem. <laughs> Let's try downward darking false knight this time. I am full mat. I have full soul. Oh, that that was silly. Oh, why am I in the corner? That's a bad place to be. <laughs> You're gonna do that. One. I tried to downward dark. What? Let me go away, please. Oh, that. I thought he was using a different attack than he was. One, two. Ah, oh, I got stuck in it. I, I don't gain soul from just hitting the armor, sadly. Uh, he's too big to actually shade dash through, which is uh, a little unfortunate. Okay. Give me your sweet, sweet soul, please. Heal up once. Very corners tend to be a little bit safer when it comes to him. Go down, please. Okay, I should get your soul here, but uh, you should die. Yep. Going into the Moss Charger at four this time. A little bit better, and we act and I think I actually, and I actually remember how this one fights now. I just have to be careful of its jumps, but I can't. Oh no. Okay, I get a free hit in there. Oh, I should have swung, swam, swung up, but I, ah, oh, it's so big. I keep forgetting how big it is exactly. Oh, I dashed right into it. 
What was that? I don't even know what happened there. That just was weird. Ah. Uh, once again, that felt really good. And then it went bad on Moss Charger where we failed. What was that? I don't have the knockback thing on. So why did it just get stuck in place and I got stuck inside of it? That was weird. Like, I thought my... I... The nail, the usual nail attack doesn't actually do that much knockback. The knockback usually come, uh, it, it's just a tiny little bit, but it usually doesn't affect bosses that much. So I just like stun locked it in place, but that was terrible for me. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man, that felt really good too. We were at half health basically, which is better than we did before going into the fourth boss. Ah oh, man. I feel like we had it for a second there. But um, I said that was going to be the last one for now. We'll have to return to the Pantheon at some point. But um, where to now? Go away. Um, that. Um, that's really cool. I really wish we could have beaten that, but uh, Looks like that's not in the cards right now, so... Do we turn to a uh, Deep Nest at this point? Do we have enough time to do so? No. I really just keep wanting to put off our return to Deep Nest as a problem. Do we have any other little stuff that we could do right now? What am I doing? Dream Nail out of here. That puts us... Oh, that was my... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Hold on, I actually need to re-enter this so I can... So I can uh, change back on to put my compass on. <laughs> Hold on. I, for whatever reason, I thought... I was thinking that was the entrance into God Home, and I thought I left my... Uh, uh, dream Gate up at the, at the entrance to the room. I didn't... Which is why I'm back in here, so... Uh, put back on the compass. Put on... What do, I, what do I just put on? Um... I could have put on Long Nail instead of uh, Mark of Pride. It's weaker, but it costs one less charm. I could have kept something else on, like Grub Song. I could have done that during the fights. Um, little buddy? Sure, little buddy gets to come along, I guess. Let's go, little bud. Crystal dash across, because that's probably going to be faster. And exit. Now where to? Because, yeah, we don't really have enough time to get... We have a few more minutes to kill, but not really enough time to uh, properly get back to exploring Deep Nest. And not, definitely not enough time to try another attempt in the Pantheon. So, I guess we're back to a little bit of cleanup, and then next time we'll properly return to uh, progression. Because other options would be to go take on one of the dream versions of one of the bosses. And I don't know if I'm actually ready for it. The first one I think I'd be ready for would be uh, Dream False Knight, I think. Uh, so, uh, and, and we already saw me fail miserably at that fight once, so I uh, don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> Although, it is really cool that we can challenge stronger ver versions of these bosses, but we can also go back and challenge their normal versions as well. I am a really big fan of that. <laughs> Because, like, it's always really cool to just go back really strong and just, like, see how much stronger you were th when you, than when you began. Just just going back to the first boss and just punching it in the face a couple of times, like, yeah, I don't, I'm not scared of you anymore. That's basically what we did to false Knight. No, come back here. Fine, then. I don't feel like waiting for an elevator, so we're going to King's Crossing. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I want. Let's head down into uh, waterways and get the grub we missed. That's that's an okay plan, I guess. Like we came down this way to get the grub originally, 
But then we saw other cool stuff, so we, uh, forgot about it. Let's actually do it instead of forgetting again. It's to the left. It's somewhere. Yeah, I just yeah, that, those are some pretty obvious cracks I missed on that wall. Whoops. So uh, there's one missed grub down and one very obviously a very very obvious fake wall. <laughs> Um, grub hunt? Sure. Let's specifically do a grub hunt right now. Next grub we can get is going to be... Uh, Crystal Peak has a few, and then there's one in Forgotten Crossroads, and then one in Green Path. So, uh, first order of business is getting to a station. Go up, right? Yes, go up. I literally just crossed through this room and I'm already forgetting how to get out. King's Station, just start crystal dashing. I don't have to worry in this room, but it's... Uh, I always forget about them until the last possible moment when it's already too late. That's when I always forget about... That's when I always remember those ones. But, um, here's the room with the big friends. I can crystal dash to avoid some of them, but I will eventually bonk my head, so let's do that. Why don't I just crystal dash again from there? <laughs> now that I think about it. And... Right back into King Station. We start... I feel like we just started over here. Bench. Stag. Then... Starting in Dirt Mouth... Then go down to Green Path, I guess. Sure, that works. Just a little bit of a bug hunt, basically. <laughs> while we kill some time. But, um... Oh, I really can't wait to, uh, get back to the Pantheon. Like, that's... That is really cool. And I'm not sure I'm actually prepared for it yet. Ugh, this place. I do not like you. I do not like green eggs and ham. Also, look at the map. There's an essence, essence flower up here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually in this room or if it's like a... Uh, I'm not entirely sure where the essence flower on that map is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, I broke it. That works. Whole bunch of Geo and an Essence Flower. So, uh... It's... That one I don't feel too bad about missing. That was pretty well hidden. Sure, we're here already. Might as well. St still definitely need a whole bunch of Essence, so... So, we'll collect this. Then we'll head down to the Grub Room. Uh... Ow. Ow. Really? I f it's falling down. I'm I'm falling faster, and my aim is apparently impeccable to be able to hit it like that. And... I'm, that's it? That's it. And what's the text on it? Because, like, all the essence flowers actually end up with this text when you check back in with them. Twisting paths, traveling masses, vessel sealed. Interesting. Oh, I guess... Gathering masses, twisting paths, and forgotten pathway crossroads. And the vessel sealed, this is where the false knight is. Or the hollow knight is, rather. Ah! Please die. Go away. I dislike you. Oh, a whole bunch of Geo on the ground. Might as well collect some of it, at least. And we basically just go straight across to get into Green Path, right? Right. <laughs> Definitely took an unneeded hit there. 
Would you kindly go away? This isn't green. This isn't the crossroads anymore. This is green path. Why are you here? Down. We're basically going. Oh, we can stop and see the hunter while we're down here, too. Uh. Really, you felt I I tr I started going around to avoid you, and you fell down into my path. That's that's rude. <laughs> Hold on, is there any acid water stuff in this room that we missed? Not because we never returned to this room specifically with the acid water ability. I don't see any <sighs> silly uh, bush bug things. Oh, that time I just jumped head first into it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Continue on. Then we go left one more screen. Might as well bench here real quick. Let's go get the grub. Let's say hi to the hunter and then we'll end off. And we'll start next time exploring Deep Nest. I've only been putting it off for like 10 episodes now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> What is what is this pathway for? Was there something hiding in this room before that we got already? Because I don't remember ever getting anything specific in there, but like, it looks like there should be something in there. Hold on. Really? Neither of those are breakable walls. Double checking. Although I guess what we're looking for is. And isn't here yet, so it uh, makes sense that we wouldn't have found it yet. Oh, double check every wall, though. There might be, like, a hidden king's idol or a hidden charms notch. So I'm assuming we're probably not getting many charms notches in here. Like, the charm notches, if you get them from a, from a random... Actually, no, I was about to say that we haven't really gotten charm notches from uh, exploration, but I think we got one or two, right? I don't remember now. It's been a while. I don't even know how I missed this one. Oh, I see how I missed this one. What is... What exactly is up with that platform? There we go. I'm... I'm confused by that platform's existence. Like, I see how we didn't get this grub before. You can't get up here without wall jump or... Uh, wall jump, double jump, or... Dash. And we didn't have... We didn't have any of those our first time through uh, Green Path. So I guess I understand how we didn't get it. Because we never returned to that room. But, um, let's go see the hunter real quick. And then we're gonna find a bench to end off at. Have we gotten... Have we found enough stuff for a reward yet, Hunter, friend? Aha! Uh -huh. Your journal grows fat and full. Only those last few rare beasts remain left to stock. Search the kingdom's corners. Complete the journal. Earn your well-deserved reward. I... I'm, I'm assuming we just need to fill out the journal entries for the stuff in Deep Nest, then? And then we'll get a reward for it? I don't know. It doesn't tell us what we don't have. It just tells us what we do, not how many there are or how many we're missing. Oh, that's a good thing that platform's there. Uh, good thing that platform's there. Can't go through there. Double checking. Oh, I didn't have shade dash. Whoops. They go left, down, and then right, right? What is this? Those who stray from the White King's... White King's Roads shall face the law of Oon. I think I read that before. But, uh, let's bench up. There wasn't anything hiding in this room, was there? This was just a bench room? We already, like, smacked everything in here sufficiently? I think we're good. So, um, anyway, today was eventful with the Pantheon. I love how the little buddy just sleeps like that. But, um... Anyways, next time, we're, we're done with cleanup for now. Or we're not done with cleanup, but we're not doing any more cleanup right now. And I uh, think the Pantheon will wait until we're just about done everything else. 
Can we I must can we return to the save file after beating the false uh, beating the game? Because if we can, we might beat the Hollow I'm assuming we fight the Hollow Knight here. Uh, I'm assuming we fight the Hollow Knight and then uh if we can return to the save file, we'll do the Pantheons as like an after game thing. But um yeah, we'll finish cleanup for the most of the stuff besides the Pantheons before beating the game. And then I'll wait for confirmation on if we can return to do the Pantheons afterwards. But, um, anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.